hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity please remember to subscribe today we are crocheting this orange skirt using half double crochets that is the main stitch and front post and back post are the waist and shawl stitches at the bottom this is how the skirt looks at the front and the waist area and that is how it looks and this is how the back looks so let's get started i am using winter king yarn this is medium weight yarn it's 50 grams and this is color 558 i am using a 2.5 mm hook a tape measure and a pair of scissors to begin we will do a slip knot and that's how I make my slip knot and then we will do chains as long as you want your skirt to be I wanted a mini skirt thus I did chains up to 15 inches length I'm done with my chains and if you measure this it's 15 inches and this cut you're going to work according to your hips measurements so we will work up to where our hips measurements reach as I said this is the length of my skirt which is 15 inches and now we want to start working on the main stitch which is the half double crochet we will add two more chains one two yarn over skip the first two chains from the hook and on the third stitch we'll half double crochets we are working with half double crochets and we are going to do half double crochets across all the chains that we have okay let me be clear on this this cut my hips measurement are 36 inches and I want a fitting skirt, meaning I will take 36 inches minus 8 inches. Whatever measurements you have for your hips measurement, minus 8 inches from that. And that is how you'll get a perfect fitting skirt, okay? As for now, we're just doing half double crochets all through. And I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm at the end of row 1 and this is how my stitches look. We want to begin row 2. So we'll chain 2. 1, 2. Turn your work and we are still doing a row of half double crochets across all the stitches that you have. I'm at the end of row two, chain two, turn your work and we are doing half double crochets across all the stitches that you have. So that is the pattern for now and we are doing half double crochets until you get to the hips measurements and remember we are minusing eight inches from the original hips measurements that you have so do half double crochets until you get to your hips measurements as i said earlier mine is 28 inches so i'm doing this until i get to 28 inches i 
this is how the stitches look these are a row of half double crochets and this is the main stitch that you're using and remember to begin a new row you chain two turn your work to begin a new row and remember we're working up to our hips measurements minus eight inches do that and i will meet you at the end i'm at the end and i chained 28 inches and this wraps around my hips measurements this is how your work should look and now we want to join together align your work well make it straight fold it into two like this and we're going to use a 2.0 mm hook to join you can use a darning needle to join your work i hope you did not cut off your yarn and we are using single crochets to join together that is how we join our work and as i said i'm using single crochets to join do that and i'll meet you at the end when you're done joining your work i am done joining my work and this is how my skirt looks that is the front side and the back side if we turn this around this is how the inside part of the skirt looks this is where we were joining using single crochets. Now we want to work on the shell stitches at the bottom of our skirt chain three. I hope you didn't cut off your yarn after joining your skirt. You chain three, yarn over. Go to the next stitch after the hook. And we will do six double crochets in one stitch. That's how we create the shell stitches. We're doing six double crochets in one stitch. That is how my shell stitch looks. To close this up, we'll go to the next stitch and do a slip stitch. Like that. That's how we close up our first shell stitch. Do the next stitch, which is the shell stitch. Yarn over, skip two stitches. And on the third stitch, we'll do our second shell stitch. That is six double crochets in one stitch okay do six double crochets in one stitch and i'll meet you once you're done i am done and that is my second shell stitch and remember we are using our 2.5 mm hook go to the next stitch and do a slip 
stitch to close up your shell stitch okay and that is how we do a slip stitch skip two stitches on the third stitch we will do another shell stitch so that is the pattern you skip two stitches on the third stitch you do six double crochets in one stitch go to the next stitch close up using a slip knot and that is how the pattern goes and we'll do that all round our skirt okay i'm hoping you understand this if you don't understand kindly go back and rewatch the part that you don't understand well I am done and I'm on my last shell stitches. I want to join my last shell stitch to the first shell stitch. And we are using a slip stitch to join together. Okay? That's it. So you'll cut off your yarn and make sure your yarn is well reinforced so that your work does not run. And this is how my shell stitches look. The front side and the back side, they have the same shell stitches. And now we want to start working on the waist ribbing. To start working on the waist ribbing, reattach your yarn and we are going to work single crochets all around your skirt. I started working from the side of my skirt. That's where I reattached my yarn and I am doing single crochets and I'll do that all around my skirt. I will meet you once you're done with your single crochets all round.
I'm at the end and we are joining using a slip stitch like that. Chain two and we will do a row of double crochets all round and I'll meet you once you are at the end, okay? I'm at the end. This is row two of double crochets. We are joining using a slip knot like that. Chain two. And now we want to work a row of front posts and back posts. Go to the next stitch and do a front post like that. The next stitch will be a back post. Go to the back of that next stitch and do a back post that's how we do a back post next stitch is a front post and the back the next stitch is the back post remember we are going in the back of that stitch like that then do a back post and we're alternating between front post and back post and we'll do that up to the end and I will see you once you're done at the end of this first row we are at the end of row one this is how the front post and back post look. You can leave your work here if you're okay with this height. But I want to do two rows. So we'll attach using a slip knot like this. Chain two. And... Wherever there's a front post, we'll put a front post. Wherever there's a back post, we'll put a back post. And we're alternating between front post and back post all the way round. And as I said, I'm doing just two rows of front posts and back posts. Then we'll work on the waistband string, okay? Remember, you can do one row, two rows, three rows, or more rows, as long as you want your high waist to go, okay? But I prefer two to three rows. I am at the end and I'm joining using a slip knot. Then I'll cut off my yarn and make sure my yarn is well reinforced so that my work doesn't run. Okay. And this is how our waistband looks. 
Now we want to chain 270 chains for our waistband string. That is how long I wanted my chains to go. This is how the base of our skirt looks and that is the main stitch in the middle part. As I said, I have chained 270 chains and now I'm just putting in the string. Find the middle part of your skirt and that's where we'll start from to put our string and we are putting in and out of every stitch that we did then we will be done with your skirt so do that and i'll meet you once your string is in and ready to go okay I am done and that is how long my strips are and this is how the waist area looks. I want to put in these beads at the end of our strings just to make our skirt look more nice. Just decorating the skirt I think. <laughs> um, it's not necessary for you to do this. I just thought it would look better with the beads. Okay. So I'm just putting in the beads, then I'll tie a big knot at the bottom of the bead and we'll be done with our skirts. I am done and this is how the skirt looks the beads make the skirt look more beautiful this is the bottom part of the skirt and thank you so much for watching kindly remember to subscribe to my youtube channel enjoy your holidays and i'll see you in the next video goodbye